On this show, you'll see guitars from all major manufacturers and small bench luthiers. I've had the pleasure of reviewing over 500 acoustic guitars, and in each review, I play the same songs recorded the same way, so you can compare the sound of any guitar I've ever reviewed. I'm Tony Policastro. Welcome to Acoustic Guitar Heaven. Today's the last and final installment of my Capo Buyer's Guide. We're looking at part six today, and today you're gonna find out what my absolute favorite go-to Capo is, one that I use for every single gig. I'm gonna tell you what it is in just a second. I don't think it'll come as a surprise, but just in case, you know, I, I like surprises. So if you wanna be surprised, by all means, go ahead. Um, the reason I'm doing these Capo reviews is, you know, at first it's like, well, Capo reviews, well, how exciting can a Capo be? Well, actually, they're, they're really interesting. In fact, there's so many different kinds. It's, it's ridiculous at how many options there are. So what I wanted to do was narrow down all the, option into, all the options into six of my favorites uh, based on popular reviews on Amazon as well as just my personal experience. Uh, kind of showing the, the pros and cons of each Capo and things to consider, things that you might not consider when you're buying it. So I've based these uh, capos, I've kind of taken into um, three areas of, of three criteria that I kind of judge the capo on, and that is functionality, uh, ergonomics, and durability, all things that you have to have for a capo to function well. So today we're looking at my favorite, the Shub Deluxe Capo. This capo looks like uh, somewhat of a contraption um, it's kind of got all these swinging metal pieces, and it's, it, 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 in my opinion, it can be fairly intimidating, if, especially if you've never used it before. Uh, but it's fairly easy to use. Essentially, it works like this. Uh, there's a tension-adjusting screw on the back that really is nice to have because you can adjust it to however uh, uh, thick your neck profile is or however thin it is. And then as you place the... Uh, I'll try to do this with my hand here. As you place the capo down, it snaps into place. So it's a really solid capo. And I think that the, the thing that I like the most about this capo is that it is very solid. I think it offers very good tone. And I think that's an ironic word to say with a capo because you're really not, the capo is not generating tone uh, per se because what the capo is doing is just pressing the strings against the fret. But the Shub Deluxe capo does so in such a solid way that I think it just provides the best tone, if, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Um, so I go ahead and I put it on. Uh, basically, I open up that, that swing handle right there, uh, and I have adjusted the tension screw to the thickness of this particular neck. I place uh, the capo on the desired fret, or right, I guess right behind the desired fret, and then all I do is push down on that back lever. Actually, that, ten that was a little bit too much. It's, it's pulling a little too tight. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll release the lever and then I'll adjust that screw. I'll back it out just a little bit and then place it down again. That's much smoother. You don't want to have to like pound on it to get the, to get the, uh, the, um, the swing handle down. You actually just want to, just a nice gentle pressure. And what I love about the capo, or the, um, not the capo, the, the Shub Deluxe capo is that it, it, the, the standard Shub capo used to have just a little rubber nub that was kind of just, it just rubbed against this, this piece, this clamping piece. But this has a wheel, so it really, when it locks into place, it really locks solidly into place. There's no issues uh, with it moving at all. It's very solid. It's very sleek. Um, it doesn't interfere with playing at all, uh, either visually or physically. Um, the one, the thing that is a bummer is you can't put it on your headstock. Um, it just doesn't, it ain't gonna work <laughs> because of the way it works. Um, but this is, you know, I would put this in the category of, you know, the capo that has uh, a tension adjusting capo. Um, let me go over some of the things that, uh, I guess you would call them cons. Uh, the first of which is it has a lot of moving parts. And if we know anything about the more moving parts we have, the more things that could go wrong. Now, I will say this, that's in theory, but in my experience with this capo, I literally have had this capo, this very one, in my pocket for the last three or four years. It lives in my pocket, unless it's on a guitar. And it is a, a, an extremely durable capo. Um, one of the other things I want you to watch out for is this the, the, the rubber pad on the front, the part that actually clamps on the strings. That particular pad can develop divots in it right along where, I'm gonna open this up, where the strings come across it. If that's the case, Shub actually sells replacement pads 
So that's that's a wonderful thing to have a capo that's actually serviceable because as far as durability goes, I think this is top notch. I know I made a comment about the moving parts, but that was purely in theory. Um, again, I've used this time and time again. It's probably been on and off guitars maybe even thousands of times and it's still kicking. Um, I love this capo. I think it offers wonderful tone, again, just because of the, the firmness with which it holds down the strings and of course the adjustability. Um, I have a, a 1935 single 017 Martin that has a very, uh, the, the neck profile, the depth is varied. At the nut, it's very, um, it's, it's thinner. As it gets towards the body, it tapers out pretty wide. And this capo is the best on that guitar because I can adjust it via that tension screw, which is just such a nice feature. It, it, it really can kind of customize it to really fit your guitar. So I know I've sung this particular uh, guitar capo's uh, praises, but there's one more that I have to sing as well. Uh, I think as far as the range of capos discussed here in the Capo Buyer's Guide, this particular capo is moderately priced. I would put it in the, um, 20 to 25 dollar range um, but of course you can click the link below and check on current pricing uh, if it has changed at all it'll be it'll be in there and uh, I just think it's a um, it's a stalwart it's a, it's a phenomenal capo that is extremely adjustable and just is it's just my favorite. I, I think it's just a, a beautiful piece of engineering as well. So there you have it. That is the Shub Deluxe Acoustic Guitar Capo, my absolute favorite and uh, one that you should certainly check out. I really hope you dug that review and found it useful. As you can see, I am a complete guitar geek. Anything guitar at all, I'm very much interested in. In fact, what I'm very focused on right now is finding out this connection, almost, you know, digging into what drives people to play guitar, what drives people to practice guitar. And in working with a bunch of in-person students as well as thousands of online students, I've discovered that there are six distinct guitar practice personality types. Now, your guitar practice personality type, or your GPP, if you want to use an acronym, is it's, it's almost like a key that unlocks the most efficient practice you can possibly have because it streamlines your focus into things that most resonate with you. Finding out your GPP will allow me to suggest practice methods that really will benefit you based on, again, your, your personality type, your guitar practice personality. So what I want you to do is click the link below and it's gonna take you to a quiz, a short quiz that will ask you some really fun questions about guitar practice. And then at the end, you'll find out what your guitar practice personality type is. And this is a great step in the right direction if you wanna maximize the awesomeness of your practice.